hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to validate the drop down select option element using jQuery now the first condition I am not selecting any spores from this drop down list control submit see here we got a message please select the sport so now I am selecting the sports rugby see here we got the rugby here tennis if I select cricket, cricket. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I am using Notepad++ for this video tutorial. Notice in this Notepad++, just for the time saving, I have added some HTML code with some headed access h1, h2, horizontal line. And after the horizontal line, I have a drop down list control, which is a select option. And the values of the select option is the sports, cricket, football, rugby and tennis. After the select option I have a input submit button control and one label control. Now before adding the jQuery functionality to validate this select option which is a drop down list control. Let's check the basic output how it looks at designing part on the browser. And this is the output of that HTML code which contains the headed access one heads to horizontal line and this is a drop down list select option and submit button control now my aim is if a user without selecting any spores click the button control i want to display some validation error message for that i'm using jquery functionality so when we are implementing jquery the first thing we require the latest jquery cdn link so search for latest jquery cdn google and from the search results i'm selecting the hosted libraries in google hosted libraries notice at the corner there is a contents panel which contains jquery select that one and notice here we can find different jquery cdn snippets i'm selecting the version 3.3.1 just copy this whole CDN link and paste between the header tags. After that, I'm adding another script tag. It's a small s. I'm closing the script tag. Now inside the script, I'm adding the jQuery functionality dollar document dot ready function. Inside this ready function, I'm adding the button click event dollar between double quotes. I'm adding the button click control ID, which is a submit. When we are adding IDs of the controls in the jQuery, we need to prefix with hash the ID name is submit dot click function. Now inside this click function, the first condition I'm adding, if a user clicks the button control without selecting any item from the select option which is a drop down list control, I want to display the validation error message. So I'm declaring a variable sports is equals to dollar between double calls. We are selecting the items from the select ID, select sports. semicolon if sports dot val if the selector sport value is triple equals to null so here in this if condition it's a triple equals to the sports dot val function is null so we are not selecting any item from the select option so I want to display the validation error message document dot get element by id this one the error message i want to display in the label control so the, i'm adding the label id between double quotes dot inner html is equals to please 
select the spot and I want to display this message in a red color document dot get element by ID between double quotes result dot the style dot color is equals to red color else and the else part if a user select any sports from the select option which is a drop down list control I want to get that sports name selected sports name in this label control so instead of adding the same code here I'm copying and pasting here here I'm adding the selected sport name is I want to display that selected name in the bold letters so I have so I'm adding the b tag I'm closing the b tag between this plus plus I'm adding sports dot val the value we are selecting from this option and I want to display that color the selected sports name in green color let's add here also bold letter b I'm closing the B tab. That's it. We have done the complete coding part. Let's save this file. We'll check the final output on the browser. I'm reloading the browser. Now the first condition, I'm not selecting any spores from this drop-down list control. Submit. See here we got a message. Please select the sport. So now I'm selecting the sports rugby. So here we got the rugby here, tennis, if I select cricket, cricket. That's it, we are using jQuery to validate the select option which is a drop down list control.